Romwad Wadani, Benin's Minister of Finance and Economy, says a recent report on the political, economic and security risks facing the country is not a true reflection of the situation. In a Skype interview with VOS Peter Clotty, Wadani discussed steps that are being taken to improve the lives of the country's citizens. Now, so what do you think is the overarching theme or message that you got or your government got from uh, the report? When I read the report, there are some area where I did not share the, the conclusion, but it's independent report. So, uh, you know, when, when you are in charge, you have uh, detailed information people who are outside of government they don't have. So I do believe that the view presented in the report, when you compare to reality, reality is even better than what he said in the report. When it comes to risk, uh, political environment, and some of area where they believe that we have vulnerabilities, I do believe that things are better in the report then. Mm -mm. So, so let so, me ask you, what other conditions do you think your administration has um, implemented that is creating the enabling environment for both local and international businesses to invest in the economy? The first thing is, you know, reform of the whole administration. Like many procedures now has, can be done online. You get your tax ID online, you create your company online, you file your financial statement online. And let me tell you something, Benin is the only country in the whole Africa where you can actually file online your financial statement and pay online your, your tax for, co for corporate. None of the front phone country can, are doing that. So uh, because the president from private sector, myself also from private sector, key people are from private sectors, we actually know what are the, 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 the key area where we have to fix things to enable people to come to do business. So reform for a better administration to uh, bring digitalization. Everywhere we can bring digitalization, we're doing it. We fix the electricity shortage, we fix the labor code, we fix the, the right to go on strike, uh, and then we're doing key investment on road to connect uh, what we call economic uh, uh, zone to the port, to the airport, etc. So when you do that, people have electricity, they have road to move product, no, now they're, they're, they are working. So, 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 far, thing, so far that yeah. you've implemented all these measures, are, are you seeing investors local and international investors coming in and have you seen a surge do you have the data to share with us about what you are seeing so far after implementing these measures for investor coming to 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 create a business in Benin we have we have statistics we can give you that only this weekend on Saturday on Friday we signed a contract with uh, a Chinese company wanting to do a wait like perruque for, for ladies because they say you know uh, you know what we did? We, we took the list of imports for all the countries, the region, and we created conditions for companies to come to produce those products here. So on Friday, we signed a contract for that uh, unit to produce uh, the, the things for our lady, the, the, the wigs, the period. And just yesterday, we signed uh, another contract with Olam, the Singaporean uh, uh, group. So March 1st, they'll start. Uh, the developing of a new agriculture and uh, agricultural economic zone close to the airport. And they want to bring textile uh, units because we are not uh, number one cotton producer in the whole Africa. In 2019, we were producing around 280,000 tons. And now we close to 1 million tons of cotton, becoming number one. Now uh, our goal is to integrate the value chain of the cotton and to produce textile. So Olam will start in March the, the construction of that uh, unit, and you know we have many examples. So I'm just giving example of what's happened this weekend with mm. that Chinese company with Singaporean company this weekend. Mm. Those so, so, things cannot be done like just two years ago, even 12 months ago was not possible because we were having electricity shortage. Right. And in July last year we start a new uh, uh, electricity plant, and now we have electricity at a reasonable cost. That was Romuald Wadani, Benin's Minister of Finance and Economy, speaking to VOA's Peter Claudio.